the Woodman, which is a beautiful 1897 uh, pub uh, by James Lister Lee uh, Architects, built for um, Ansel's Brewery of Birmingham. Come and enjoy some real British pub hospitality and an immaculate pint of draft bass in Birmingham. This is the one, folks. This is this is what we've come for. Well, look at the head on there. Look at that one. It's really, really good. In a proper glass as well. There you go. Take a walk on the wild side. <laughs> Welcome to another video, Walk on the Wild Side, and I think you can probably tell that I am not in Blackpool <laughs> in this video. I am in the middle of Birmingham. Check it out, we're right in the heart of England's second city. Check it out, that's the ball ring over there. <clears throat> I'm currently in an apartment block. Bit of a long story, this, but the reason why I'm in Birmingham is because I'm heading to a new pub that's opening not too far from here and it's a pub that serves my favourite drink Draft Bass. Now I'm here with Carl who's a member of our club. We've got this apartment here in this building um, right so what I want to do first is um, we're going to head to the pub a bit later on in the video <clears throat> if I can find the pub that is but first of all I'll just turn you around so we can have a look at this view well I have to say it's not the best view <laughs> we're looking down on a building site down there <clears throat> I think this is known as Great Bar is that right? I know I've got a few people who watch the channel from Birmingham so they'll know better than me but just look at this it's absolutely crazy down we, we had such a struggle finding this place <laughs> we had to drive round and round and round and we, we went over there and then had to do a U-turn down there Oh, it's absolutely crazy, honestly. I think they're doing some work on the tram lines down there. That's the rotunda over there, can you see? That's the only thing that I ever remember about coming to Birmingham when I was last here, in the centre of Birmingham, which must have been about, I don't know, 1989. That's how long it's been since I've actually been to the centre of Birmingham. But just look at this now. Wow. So this is a view out of the balcony. We've got Carl here. What a trek it was getting here, Carl, wasn't it? It was. It was a bit difficult. <laughs> we managed to pick keys up easily, but the traffic around Birmingham is greatly disrupted by HS2. I think that we might be ready for some drinks of bass. What do you think? After all De what we've been through? Definitely. I'm ready for a pint or two. Uh, just trying to find a way out the door. The door was locked, but we're just out now. Oh, look at this. Hey. This is Birmingham, folks. Yes, so now we need to find this pub. Um, like I said, I think it's on, Cur it's on Curzon Street. Number one Curzon Street. Grade two listed pub. I'm going to give you a bit of a write-up. We're going to head there now. So, John Brearley, owner of Union Inns, is delighted to announce a reopening of the much loved Woodman public house on Curzon Street in Birmingham. It's a beautiful 1897 James and Lister Lee architects designed pub built for Ansel's Brewery. Anyone remember? Are they still going Ansel's Brewery? I don't know. It faces the original iconic Grade 1 listed London and Birmingham Railway station which opened in 1838 and is directly opposite what will be the new HS2. So there you go. At its heart are cask ales and the bar boasts two magnificent beer engines with 10 hand pumps always serving draft bass. That's the important thing. Draft bass will always be on tap at the Woodman pub. So we're going to see if we can find the way now. That's where we just were in there in that big massive building up there. Look at that. We're somewhere up there on the 10th floor or something like that. It's absolutely crazy isn't it? here by the way. So much work going on. What a... What a what a palaver trying to find the place but we got here in the end and now we've got to try and find this pub i know i've got a few fans here in birmingham so if you happen to be anywhere near this pub go and check it out and you can get yourself some draft bass because this is apparently the only pub i'm told that serves draft bass in 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 the birmingham yeah so there you go so 
that's the, the whole reason for us being here is the fact that the, the, the proprietor has made sure that draft bass will be on tap the whole time. Oh, we've got trees. HS2, there you go. New Canal Street. Bit noise at the moment, kids are kicking out of school. But look at, look at all this work going on here, look, all this HS2 here. Can we go down there? Yeah, I'll tell you what, they've got some trees here in Birmingham. Look at these birches. Silver birches. Ah, there you go. I think we're down here. Just look at that there. Millennium Point. And you know what? That is right across the road from this pub. That is amazing. Look at that there. That's the pub right there. The Woodman. It's like as if it's been rescued from being demolished, you know, with all this new work going, all these new buildings around here. And as you can see there, we've got the sign on the side, the Woodman, with uh, the worker there chopping logs. And look at this, we've got a light outside this door here, the bass lamp. This is it, look at that. Isn't it a grand building? Look, look at that. Isn't it amazing? Wow. I think it's time to go in, what do you think? Let's have a look around this side. Carl can't wait to get in, can you, Carl? <laughs> I hope they've got room for us. <laughs> there you go, look at that. Let's have a look around this side. So much work going on around here. And yet, we've got this Victorian, yeah, Victorian pub. Grade two listed, standing right here in the middle of Birmingham. Step back in history. Goodness, there's a lot of people in here. Ooh, look at this, folks. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're here. We're in the pub. Well, we've got a bath. It's a lovely bath there on the wall there. William Bass, our finest ale. 1777. This is a soft opening, by the way, folks. It's not open to the public. So this is how it looks. Just look at this. Wow. And we're getting our first pint right Look at that, there you go, Carl's got, he's happy now, look at him, <laughs> we've got it now. <laughs> Here we go, folks, yeah, this should be really good, I think. Uh, Excellent. I think you were ready for that, weren't you, Carl? <laughs> so, here we go, let's... Uh, this is what we this is what we came here for. Yeah, that was definitely worth all that uh, hassle. But well, look at the head on there. Look at that. That was really really good. In a proper glass as well. There you go. Check it out if you're in Birmingham. The Woodman. Okay, so we're just at the bar now, and I'll just show you what they've got. They've got ciders over here. O'Neill's Old Stout Cider, American Pale Ale Trailblazer there. Just here we've got uh, Cruz Sanfa, Amstel, all the favourites, Birra Moretti. Here we've got the ales, Harvest Pale. Some of these will be temporary. Hobson, Hobson's a champion. Now then, this is the one folks, this is, this is what we've come for. And you can have a look at the, uh, at the colour there. You can taste test them as well. There's one that's off there, I don't know what that is. Cloudburst Porter, that one. Uh, just over here we've got some more. Mystic Wolf, Lord Marples. We've got another bass pump, we've got two. Two bass pumps, Timothy Taylor's. And there we've got Silver Key. So there you go, that's a little look at the ale. We'll just have a look at it, we've got a nice clock up there. So it's a nice interior, tiled, as you can see. The Woodman, here in Birmingham. Okay, I'm just going to nip outside. Now, I mentioned before that this is a soft opening, only for 
friends and family and that's why we've been invited Carl and I and I just thought I'd give you a good look round really because like I say just look at it isn't it amazing to have something like this in the middle of all this it's absolutely incredible so let's take a good look round the pub shall we well it's all changed here in Birmingham with these big high rises going up there's a lot of noise going on building these new skyscrapers they're doing the HS2 and just here we've got a little bit of a space we've got some nice trees there look at those trees pine trees got a beer garden there check it out and now we get to see the side there look at that wow so we'll just take a good walk around I just want to quickly show you the the note on the window there. Private party, yeah. Only VIPs, yeah. So I'm a VIP, folks. The entrance here on the corner with the bath. You know, it, it used to be such a big brewery. It was the bit largest brewery in the world at one time. The largest in the in the world by the amount of beer that they sold. And yet nowadays it's got to compete with it's well it's fallen out of fashion hasn't it and where i live in blackpool there were so many places that served it in in the in the olden days and yet nowadays it's well it's almost forgotten about so we're just here outside the woodman and i've actually got the owner here john Brearley. would you like to tell us a little bit about your new pub here the history I would absolutely love to, uh, love to. Um, we're sitting, as you can see, if you look over, right in the centre of Birmingham, uh, opposite the old Curzon Street, um, ah, 1838. I was wondering about that. That's yeah. the London to Birmingham wow. railway, uh, railway station, but less about this. Those things you can just see over the top there are the new piers bringing the tracks into the new High Speed 2 station. Ah. But turning to the important matter, behind you, you have the Woodman, uh, the Woodman, which is a beautiful 1897 uh, pub uh, by James Listerly uh, Architects, built for um, Ansel's Brewery of Birmingham. Uh, as you can see from the outside, it has a beautiful red brick and terracotta uh, exterior. And inside, we might get to go and have a look in a minute, uh, beautiful Minton tiled, original bar, lovely Minton tiled uh, smoke room. Um, Fallen on quite hard times, um, but uh, I managed to um, rescue it, uh, I think would be a fair way to say, and uh, we um, negotiated, we, we lease it off Birmingham City Council, and we've done a restoration job to bring it back to what I would believe would be how it would have been in its real Victorian hey, heyday, a proper no-nonsense boozer a pub um, so we are actually reopening uh, officially to the most important people the public uh, tomorrow uh, Friday the 13th I'm not superstitious today is our is our opening events we've got uh, a, a, like a soft opening for sort of friends uh, which includes the honourable order bass drinkers of course uh, t t today and then we've got a sort of VIP type job this afternoon uh, obviously pride of place is the draft bass uh, yeah. probably the first time it will have been sold in uh, Birmingham for at least 20 years? Um, purists among you will realize, um, but I think will probably let me off. This was an Ansel's pub, so it would never have sold bass in the day. But let's let's not be churlish. So, all it <laughs> remains for me to say is a welcome. Um, you can tell I'm very excited, probably from the way I'm talking about, but we're here from uh, 12 o'clock tomorrow till the end of time. Come and enjoy some real British pub hospitality and an immaculate pint of draft bass in Birmingham. Well, there you go. You heard it there from John. Please come and visit the Woodman here in Birmingham. I just want to quickly show you something here now. There's a plaque on the wall here which was rescued by John and it's a memorial dedicated to the members of the Italian community of Birmingham who were tragic who tragically lost their lives 
for the sinking of the SS Andorra. Now these people were, were rounded up and they were put on this boat and this is what happened. They were actually sunk by a U-boat. Now this uh, plaque has been in this pub um, that was erected on the 75th anniversary, it says. An amazing story, John told me about it. If I can find out any more about it, I'll put it in the description. But uh, we'll just look around here. In this little room at the back here, we've got some pictures there. Now, John said that this wasn't originally a bass pub. Well, it is now. And this is where we can get something to eat there. But we've got a little bit of a, a, little bit of a buffet there. We've got a nice fireplace here. Look at that fireplace there, look. Check it out. And uh, look at another pictures of pubs around the place there. Yeah, there you go. So Birmingham's got a bit of rich history of pubs. So there you go, that was a Woodman pub here. In Birmingham, you heard all the history there from the owner, John. He knows a bit more than me, so I thought I'd let him have his little talk there about this pub here in the middle of Birmingham centre. The Woodman Draft Bass, available at all times. You heard it right here first, and if you're here in Birmingham, check it out. It's like a little piece of history in the middle of all this modernisation that's going on here in Birmingham. Anyway, check it out if you happen to be in Birmingham. If you live in Birmingham, let me know in the comments. If you visit, let them know that you heard it here first. And if you like this video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.